everyone welcome to another crochet video i know i've been promising this one for a while but we have been so busy with big brother canada and i knew that this was going to be a monumental video so i wanted to make sure that we had enough time to do it right so if you're new here my name is maddie my mom and i uh janet have a crochet knit and handmade business called granny by nature and today i want to talk to you guys about our favorite no sew patterns Woo! I am not a fan of sewing uh, while I'm making plushies because uh, <laughs> it's just too stressful for me. I can't handle it. Especially when you're using the chenille yarn and like maybe it's going to break, maybe it's going to shed too much. I know you can uh, sew with acrylic, but uh, girl, <laughs> if I don't have to sew, I don't want to do it. So I have um, accumulated quite a list here of no sew patterns. I even have more new ones that I've been using lately that I haven't put on here yet because they're super fresh. But I do want to make a video with my mom soon, like in the next few weeks, uh, talking about some of the new patterns that we've been trying out. So those will be on there. But um, let's let's get into it. Uh, all of these patterns that you're gonna see here today, I have linked below the where you can find the pattern. Some of them are free. Some of them are pay. I'll say like who. Uh, made the pattern, uh, if it's like on Instagram, Ribbler, YouTube, uh, Etsy, of course. Um, so you'll be able to find all of that. And I want you guys to enjoy these patterns as much as I do because I know the creators put so much time and effort into making them amazing. So um, I think we should all share them. So uh, yeah, these patterns are excellent for markets and uh, batch making. I do a lot of batch making just because like I like to get into a pattern and really like basically memorize it and then um, it just goes faster, you know? You don't have to keep referring to the pattern. You can just go. And I do, if you see me looking down, I do have my laptop here so that I can remember uh, what we're talking about. So let's get into it. I've divided the video today into uh, three categories, smalls, mediums, and larges. So let's start with the smalls. Uh, I, have, I only have a few things in the large category, which I'll explain in a little bit, but let's start with our smalls. So first up, we have this mini ghost. Ooh, our first market that we ever did was in September. So these ghosts were perfect for that. Uh, this is a free pattern on Instagram by Crochet W Bay. So I'm assuming it's Crochet with Bay. And um, yeah, these sold really well. These were flying off of the table. I actually just started making these as keychains as well with the skinny chenille uh, loops and threads. So I'm excited to see how those do. Uh, we have our 2024 market season coming up, so we'll see. These actually have sold well outside of the Halloween season as well. So um, it's tried and true, super easy, love it. <laughs> That's a good like $5 item. Uh, next up we have the mini octos. The, there's so many different mini octo patterns out there. This was actually the first one the first octopus pattern that I tried and I loved it so much that I just didn't make any others. These were the only ones that I went for. Again, this is another great $5 item, but this is a free pattern uh, from a blog, Sweet Softies. And this one is really great because if you don't wanna sit with your fluff next to you, like if you're out and about or you're in the car or something, you can just take your yarn and pretty much do the whole entire thing um, without stuffing it, like do the whole entire thing, just leave the last row. So just cut off enough for that last row and then you can stuff it when you get home. Um, but these people love these. I like the tentacles on this because it is more defined than just like bobbles or something like that. Um, but these work up very, very quickly, maybe like 20, 25 minutes. So they're great and you can make them in all different colors. They look great in the variegated yarn as well. Love it. Uh, next up, this is a new one. I know so many people have these, but we only just started making them. We have, we actually haven't taken this pattern to market yet. Uh, but my mom just started making mini whales. Yay! Um, and you can use all different types of yarn for these. This is the um, free pattern on Instagram by All From Jade. She's got so many great patterns. And this one, she actually used blanket yarn, so it's a little bit bigger. But um, you can make them much smaller. Uh, I know she made some with Posh as well, which 
ended up being a little bit smaller. She made some keychain size, so even smaller. Um, I'm excited to see how these do at market because I know somebody was asking me one time if we had any whales and we didn't, but now we will. So <laughs> that's good. Uh, another little teeny tiny. This is, I mean, you probably have already seen this, but Mabel the chicken, she's everywhere. She's the it girl. <laughs> and I didn't make these for the longest time because I was like, I don't know, are people like into this? They are. <laughs> They're super into this. This is the Oak and Marlowe pattern. It is a pay pattern on Etsy. And this is technically a low sew the way that it's written, but I did modify it to be a no sew because I just crocheted the little, um, I forgot what this thing is called comb? I want to say it's a comb. I just crocheted this comb right on there. Um, so I mean, if you count embroidering a mouth as sewing, then it's not a no sew either. But I, I think that's pretty easy to do. It's very simple. Patterns very easy to follow. Uh, these little babies, we haven't taken them to market yet, but we have been selling them on Etsy and they have been very popular. So we'll see how they do in person. In a few weeks, we have our first market of 2024. But yeah, these guys also great in different colors. I can never find this uh, terracotta color from uh, Michael's. It's always out. Even online, it's out a lot. I can't, I want it. I want it. I need it for other things, but I can't get it. Um, but yes, great, great, uh, easy make. Okay, next up, another one that I resisted for the longest time, and then once I started, I couldn't stop, the Leggy Froggies. This is a free YouTube tutorial by Celestial CB. I think she also has this as a written pattern that you can buy. Yeah, because I actually bought the written pattern. I, I like to buy the, the pattern when I can if it's only a few bucks because I like to support the creator. And I also like to just have it as a PDF because sometimes I like to see the video tutorial so I can see more detail of how it's done, especially if it's tricky or something. But a lot of these patterns are only like 2 $3 top, so... I go for it, but <laughs> these guys uh, have not brought them to market yet. They've been doing great on Etsy, <laughs> um, but these are gonna be so much fun to display on our table because I feel like you can do so much. Like, Ooh. you could just sit there with the legs crossed, like they could all be arm in arm, um, and you can make them in so many different colors. And this is the um, Sweet Snuggles Light. So this is a six, but I've seen a lot of people make them with the jumbo yarn. Um, I wasn't sure if they would sell as well on the jumbo yarn, but maybe eventually I will try some like that. Um, I also have made some keychains with this pattern with the skinny chenille, um, and I think those are gonna be a lot of fun. I know a lot of kids are gonna be into that, so it's a great one. And there are so many different leggy froggy patterns. This is just the one that I use. Um, sticking with the frog, theme here. <laughs> My mom literally just this week started making these grumpy froggies, which I, f I love. I was going to say I freaking love uh, the grumpy expression on these. And I love how this follows the, the stitch line here. Um, yeah, you got to love these little, fro these little frog legs, right? Um, and of course the bobbles for the eyes really make it. But this is a free YouTube tutorial by Darling Maple Designs and it works up very quickly. This one I think was with the posh yarn. Um, very nice. <coughs> okay, let's change it up a little bit. We're still in the smalls category, but now we have another free pattern. This one is from the blog Stringy Ding Ding, which is a great name. And these are little puppy dogs. Oh my god, this one is like a pug. Uh, we're gonna be calling these pocket puppies when we sell them. Um, this, my mom has been making these and they are adorable and you can make all different types of breeds depending on what colors you use and where you change the colors. This little guy is a pug and he's just so cute. Oh my god, she was whipping these up so quickly. So they work up very nicely. And this is a great one because I feel like a lot of people don't have dogs at their, um, at their tables. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just like sometimes hard to find a good dog pattern, but this one is reliable. We're just starting to get dogs in our inventory. So now that we have them, I'm like, I want all, <laughs> all of the dogs, all the different patterns. Um, next up, 
This is a classic. Everybody's got it because it's a classic for a reason. The Chunky Mushroom Boys. Woo! This is a free pattern on Ribbler by Chunky.Crochet. Actually, now that I'm, no. Is it Chunky or Chunky? I know it's Chunky Mushroom Boy. I don't know if this auto-corrected the Chunky. I have the link below, so <laughs> it's there. Um, you do have to make an account in order to get the free pattern on Ribbler, but it is free to make your account. And I'm telling you, it's worth it because people are obsessed with these. I brought these to markets last year and they always did really well. I also make these uh, in a bigger version with the jumbo yarn and they're just adorable. I know a lot of people put blush on theirs. I haven't really gotten into the whole blush thing yet. Maybe eventually I will, but I think they look cute even without the blush, so. There's my chunky mushroom boy. And again, great to do all different colors. I had a lot of like fall colored ones for our markets because we didn't start until like September. Uh, but now that it's spring and we're getting ready for those markets, I have a bunch of pastels, which are really, really cute. Um, next up is We Be The Alien. This is a pay pattern on Etsy by Megs Makes Patterns. I have quite a few patterns by her because I really like them. <laughs> but we're gonna be doing a UFO festival in a few months, so I have been batch making the crap out of these. And this is actually uh, with the uh, Big Twist Posh yarn, which had this great like lime green. And I got one skein of it when Posh was like just coming out and then they haven't had it in the store since. Like we have not been able to get this color for the Posh. Um, I know there was that rumor a while back that they were like discontinuing Posh. They're not, they're supposed to be coming back with even more colors. So really like this one, really hoping to get more of this color. If not, I think I'm gonna try out the Parfait uh, Neon line because they had a really nice green there. I just wanna have some classic like bright green aliens. But I also have made this one with the, um, what's it called? Sweet Snuggles Light and it works up beautifully. A little bit bigger. Uh, that reminds me, I've also made it in the jumbo and I think it's just super, super cute. I think it could have used maybe bigger eyes so it could just have that real alien look to it, but it's a really quick, easy pattern. This next pattern is this adorable little elephant. This is a pa pay pattern on Etsy by Nook's Hooks Shop and he is just so cute. I made him here, uh, I don't know if it's focusing, with this floral yarn and once I started making these, I could not stop. I love the way that the ears attach onto this. You sew on the surf, or not sew, you crochet on the surface to make these ears, um, which is a very good way to do it so you don't have to sew them on. Love that. <laughs> um, and what else did I wanna say about this? Oh, this designer was awesome because I bought this pattern and then not long after, they actually sent a few mods um, that they didn't have before. And it was like fruit versions of these elephants, which are so cute. I haven't tried the fruit versions yet, but I just thought that that was really cool that they decided to send out the mods to people who had already bought the pattern. Um, have not taken this to market yet. I think they're gonna do really well because they're just gonna be so cute, like all lined up together. And how could you say no to that face? Woo! <laughs> All right, next up, uh, my mom has pretty much been in charge of making all of the cats for our markets. So last uh, year, she was mostly knitting. So she made a lot of like knit cats, but now she has transferred mostly over to crochet. And she started with these loaf cats, which are adorable. I love the little face on that. And they work up very quickly. This is a free pattern on Stitch by Faye's blog. And um, again, you can make it in tons of different yarns. This is actually on the smaller side uh, compared to some of the other ones that my mom has made because she also used the Sweet Snuggles, um, the new colors, you know, like those little, those ones that look like the jelly worms. She made some with that and they turned out a lot bigger. But this is just with the uh, Home Slim Chenille and it's a good size and it's a nice like squishy one. Um, that I think a lot of kids will like. So we'll see how these do at market this year. I think it's gonna be a hit. Okay, so I mentioned that we're gonna be going to a UFO festival in a few months. So I uh, have a few different versions basically of this 
idea of like the alien in the spaceship. So this one is made, uh, this is a pay pattern on Etsy by Meg Designs Co. And I am obsessed with this. I have made so many of these so far. I, I batch made the crap, batch made the crap out of this pattern because they worked up so quickly and they're so cute. And what makes them special, this is actually ugh, like a fidget pop pattern, which this is the first one that I've ever made like that. I've seen a lot of them online, but I was skeptical at first. And then when I actually like played with it, I was like, I get the appeal. It's a lot of fun. Um, I understand now. So this one works up very quickly. Um, I've only made the green alien so far, but I think it would be super cute in other colors as well. So we'll see. And then last but not least in our small category, I haven't made these in a while. Um, but I think I need to start doing it again because I know somebody was asking for them specifically and I want to be able to deliver on that. So these are cat toys. Woo! This is like a little fish shape. This is a um, free pattern on the blog Cafe Del Craft. And I actually put some catnip in here mixed in with the stuffing. And this is one that I made for my parents' cat, uh, Lammy, and she loves it. Um, <laughs> I used a cotton yarn on this because I didn't, I wanted it to be safe um, for cats. And when we brought this to market at first, I was only charging like $3, which honestly was a little bit insane because it it's cotton yarn. It's like a weight four. So it was kind of hurting my hands to make it this tight. And, um, you know, it takes some time to make a cotton project this big. So I think if I do make them again, I'm going to bump up the price a little bit. But I know that they are very popular with cats. So if you have a cat or you want to make four cats, this pattern is great. Nice and easy. And the tail, of course, is no so. Okay, so those were all in what I would consider, like, the small category of, like, five to maybe like ten dollars and then uh now we're going to talk about the medium-sized plushies so this first one that i want to mention we actually don't have any to show right now because they sold so quickly on etsy uh we haven't taken them to market yet but <coughs> i have a feeling they're probably going to do well um this is a pay pattern on etsy by i think it's pronounced big bebes Big be babies, bebes. I like bebes. Um, but my mom made these cats. I'll show you a picture. Um, they're really cute. They're like stand-up cats. I love how the tail sticks up in the back. And we actually bought this as a pack of. I want to say it was like four or five different patterns. But you can also buy the individual patterns if you only have a specific type of cat that you want to make. So that's cool. Uh, next up, we have these bees. This technically is not a no so <laughs> because you do have to sew the wings on and honestly i'm so i loathe sewing so much that like it makes me not want to make them as frequently but when i do make them i make like 15 at a time because i just want to like get through it but they're so cute this is from a free youtube tutorial by one cent crochet i love her patterns and she does a really good job of explaining things and bees this B, I made a smaller version that was actually like the first plushie that I made where I was like, all right, I think I can do this. I think I want to transition from doing like wearables and like like housewares, whatever, into plushies. And then there was no turning back. So this B, I owe a lot to. Um, this is the jumbo version of it, which I, I prefer doing this. I ha only made that one small version of the B. And then ever since then, I went for the jumbo partially because it's so hard to find the yellow slim but then I was like you know what I just the amount of work that you have to put into like the color changes and stuff I thought it was just better to have the jumbo ones and be able to charge like $15 so that's my story and <laughs> I'm sticking to it <laughs> but it is technically a low so I know there are some B patterns coming out now that I've seen that are no-sos, which I would definitely be checking out. They're a little bit different shape. They're more like sitting down, whereas this is more like a, I'll call this like a pill shape, I guess. But this is a good one and it sells really, really well. All right, next up, we have another bestseller for markets and online. Uh, this is a sea turtle. Ooh, and this is actually a free pattern from the Friendly Red Foxes 
blog, so the Friendly Red Fox, and um, this turtle has been very, very good to me. <laughs> it has been very popular. Uh, you can make so many different colors, and it's such a smart design because you don't sew on anything. You make the fins and the head separate, and then you crochet them onto the body after you make the shell. So <laughs> it's a really easy construction, and after you make one, you get the hang of it and it's so easy and you can, I feel like it takes me about, I want to say an hour 15 to make one of these, but I usually make two to three at a time. I won't just make one for the most part. And this is one of those patterns that I do size up to the jumbo as well and they are very popular. Um, and they're so, I'm, I love the jumbo ones. They're so cute um, and they're so squishy. So great pattern by the Friendly Red Fox. And then I just recently started making some land turtles to switch it up a little bit. So this is Tofu the Turtle. Uh, this is a pattern on Etsy by Meg's Makes Patterns. And I was nervous about this one at first because I saw something about like sewing the head to the body and I was like, is this a no sew? But it is because you make the head separate. You crochet the head onto the body. And then the sewing part is just like basically tacking the back of the head to the body because if you don't it's just gonna be like Burr. so it's very very simple and um i just think this is so adorable it's got the little bobble feet on the bottom so you got your sea turtle and now you have your land turtle as well if you want to change it up um so i'm glad i'm gonna have these at markets as well because sometimes people specifically want a land turtle I haven't tried this in jumbo yet. I'm not sure if I want to. I'm just a little bit nervous that these treble bobbles won't translate well with the jumbo yarn, but you won't know until you try it, right? Let me know in the comments if you've made this Tofu the Turtle with the jumbo yarn. I might do it. We'll see. Ah. <laughs> okay, uh, next up, uh, oh my god, this is one of my favorite patterns ever. So this is a free pattern on the blog Amy's Crochet Cave, and I love pigs. <laughs> I really do. In real life and like plushies of them. This, I feel like, is the best pig pattern that I have seen. And um, fortunately, this was sent to me by Stephanie Sazna, as well as the sea turtle pattern. <coughs> Thank you so much for sharing those. Um, this pig pattern, I just love the dimensions of it. Like the nose is so cute, the ears, like it's all no so of course, the bobble feet. And you can make it in all different colors. I do um, like this, nat this is the natural pink. And then I have like hot pink is really popular. You can use like the florals, which I think are adorable. I just feel like this is one of the more realistic pig patterns that I've seen. I, I just feel like sometimes they end up looking a little blobby. I don't know, but this one, I feel like has great definition and it translates so well with different size yarn. Like this is um, the Home Slim Chenille from Michaels. Um, I've used the Jumbo from Michaels, so like Sweet Snuggles, not light, and, um, and light. <laughs> and then I also made a little mini pig with the skinny chenille because I was like, I wonder how this is going to work up. Maybe I can use it for like a keychain. I think I would put a keychain on it, but it would be more of like a backpack buddy because a lot of people like to put little plushies on their backpacks now. I know my brother has a bunch of keychains that he puts on his bag. Um, so it's a little too big to be a keychain, but I think it would be just right for like a backpack buddy. So I probably will make some of those with the skinny chenille, but this, oh, I just love it so much. It takes about maybe like an hour to put one of these cuties together. So highly, highly recommend it. Next up is a popular one. Um, this one got a lot of play with like the little boys. <laughs> this is a stingray. This is a free pattern from the blog Rose and Lily Amigurumi. And um, we brought these to our first market and they were very popular. Um, I will say they did not sell as well getting closer to Christmas, which makes sense, but I think they will pick up again now that we're in spring, moving towards summer. So I just think they're so pretty, especially with this variegated yarn, oh my God. Very easy to do. Um, I will say, when you get towards the end of the tail, don't like kill yourself trying to stuff this. Like it's honestly better if you leave the last bit of the tail unstuffed um, because then you can kind of like, oop, 
curl it up. I know some people sometimes will put like a, um, a pipe cleaner in the tail, but you don't even need it. If you just like bend it after you make it, it will stay pretty well. And then they still have the option to move it how they want, but love this. Okay, next up is one of my faves. Uh, actually, we got a few uh, in the same family here. I love rodents. <laughs> I really love rodents. So the next few patterns are from the same maker. Um, I don't know, maybe she loves rodents too because she has some really great rodent patterns. But this is, I guess, I don't know, is this even technically a rodent? I know it's a marsupial. I don't know. Um, but this, I consider it a rodent. Uh, possum. Oh my god. This has been so popular for us at markets and online. And I will say there are quite a few color changes here, but it's not like the type of color changes where you have to keep switching like in every row. You know what I mean? Like if you're doing an animal that's like spotted or like a cow or a cat where you have like all these different changes, that can get pretty annoying. This is just like from row to row, so it's not bad. But um, you do have to be ready to have like multiple balls of yarn around you. But oh my God. This is worth it because it is so cute and I just love the shape of this head. I know a lot of people have um, those like smaller possum patterns um, where like I feel like the head is just not the right shape but this one is just right. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned who made this. This was a pay pattern um, on Etsy by QB Crochet and I, like I said, I have a few coming up from her. So like if we move on from the possum, this is uh, their rat pattern. Oh my God. So Etsy, QB Crochet, love it. I honestly, I got the possum pattern first and then I was like, should I get the rat one too? Is it gonna be the same thing, but just like different colors? No, I'm telling you, like if you're thinking about it, it's worth getting both because the body shape is different and it really does read rat whereas this one whoop, where did I put it this one does read more um possum and also like look at the feet on this with the different colors oh my god not as hard as you'd think uh to do that but this rat oh beautiful <laughs> I have these in white I also make them in gray and I just think they're the cutest things ever I'm also about to add mice to my lineup which is so fun oh my god I love rodents okay next up um we have, oh wait, I have one more by QB Crochet, which I wanted to get to, so I have all of theirs together. Okay, oh, this bunny, <gasps> so sweet. Okay, so I wanted to make bunnies for Easter. Honestly, these have not been popular for me online. I don't know why exactly. Maybe it's just because they're like, I don't know, people go for more for the peeps maybe. Um, this though, I just love it. If Even if it's not popular, I love it. This is in like a floral print but I love the the ears you can tack these to the body if you want to I just left them floppy because I, I like having the option to like move them around um but again I just love her shaping on her plushies so this is another fave um she knows rodents what can I say <laughs> and um what really sold me on this pattern as well she has the option to do just like a solid or the Dutch style bunny, which is like a black and white or a brown and white, whatever. So I like that you have that option to do that. I have not done that one yet, but I would like to do that soon because I just think it's gorgeous. All right, and then sticking with that same family of animals, I have another fan favorite, the capybara. Is it capybara, copybara? I don't know, but they're adorable. And this one is a pay pattern on Etsy by Kind Maker. I have a few of their patterns as well because I just love their work. Um, but this is so cute. And I wanna make more because I'm almost out. I think I have like two left on my Etsy. But um, again, it's so hard to find this terracotta color at Michael's and also the sand color. I need both. <laughs> I'm almost out of the sand and I have like no terracotta, but um, this is adorable. I will say this one, um, you have to be careful because I made all of these in one batch. I made like eight at once and I definitely overstuffed the heads. It is a little top heavy, so it like won't stand up on its own most of the time. Um, so when I do make them again, I think I will stuff the head a little bit lighter just to you know, try and see if I can get it to stand up on its own. But even if it doesn't, 
Love it. So, so cute. Oh, okay. Back to Easter. I mentioned peeps and we have one here. Uh, so my mom has been making the peeps for Easter and this is a pay pattern on Etsy by J and W crochet. I think there are, are a few um, free ones out there as well, but we decided to go with this one. And honestly, I love it. I think it's so adorable. Um, it's very, very quick to work up. You make the, the ears and then attach them in the middle and then go from there. Um, you can make them in so many different colors, so many different yarns. This is with the Big Twist Posh. And then my mom also made them in the Sweet Snuggles, so they're bigger. And I think it's just like the perfect addition to an Easter basket. So love this. Uh, I think we will definitely be making more of these next Easter because they were a hit online. Unfortunately, we didn't have any markets before Easter. We were supposed to have one and then I got COVID. So we had to drop out. But hopefully next year we will be able to go to a pre-Easter market and really show those off. Um, next up. Oh my God. This is so cute. <laughs> Next up, we have this alligator. This is a pattern on Etsy by Nat's Crochet Creation. And I was thinking about making these for a little while and I didn't like pull the trigger on it. And then at one of our markets, there was another awesome crocheter there and she was selling these and I saw them in person and I was like, okay, you sold me. Like I have to make these myself because they're just so cute. They work up very quickly. Um, I just love the shape of the face on this uh, like the frog patterns where they have the bobble eyes i just think that's so awesome and then the snout oh my god again it's the same thing with the stingray tail don't even bother stuffing these last few rows because you don't need to and you will be happy that you didn't because if you try to do it it's just gonna be a nightmare but um the legs very easy uh, you actually make these as you're going. You don't have to crochet them on after, so that's nice. Um, yeah, I just love it. I just I think it's so cute. Very, very cute. All right, next up I have this axolotl pattern by Kind Maker. I actually didn't even know what axolotls were until I started crocheting. I kept seeing people putting them in their market prep videos, and I was like, what is an axolotl? And then I looked it up, and I was like, oh, it's that, like, lizard thing. So this is like a, I guess you could consider this like a baby axolotl. It almost looks like a rattle to me. But um, it's super, super cute. I only started making these right before our last market last year. So I, I don't have a good gauge of how these do at markets because that one just wasn't like super well attended. So I, feel, I think I sold a few at that one, but I think I'm gonna sell more this year. Um, I do have another axolotl pattern that I just started using recently as well, which we'll get to, but I've only made the big version of that. So this is the smaller one. And I think it's adorable. You crochet these on the surface, crochet on the surface, so that's nice and easy. Um, and I think you can have a lot of fun playing around with the different color combinations as well. This one's a pink on pink, but I mean, you could do anything. And this is another one that I think is great for uh, little boys and little girls because sometimes I feel like I go too hard towards like the stuff that little girls are gonna like. But um, I think there are a lot here that are good for everybody, so. This is a good one. Okay, so I mentioned earlier <laughs> UFO Festival, which we're very excited for. This is another item that I uh, started making specifically for that, but I think I will continue to make them after as well because they're super fun. So this is similar to the, the pop one that I showed earlier. This one does not pop. This one is a little bit bigger, or quite a bit bigger, but this is um, by Meg's Makes Patterns. So this is her same we be the alien, but this time the body turns into a spaceship. And it's super fun to make. You make the alien going into this top half, then you um, you cut the yarn, you make the bottom, and then you crochet the two halves together. So it's very, very easy to do. Once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quickly. Um, and I think these are gonna be really awesome for UFO Festival and beyond. So love that. Okay, I also um, have another like themed plushie here, but I think this will also be good outside of this specific market. So last year we did a pickle festival, which was probably our favorite market 
that we've done. And I'm so tired to doing it again this year. Unfortunately, it's not until the fall, so we gotta wait for a little while. But this pickle pattern uh, is a pay pattern on Etsy by Baby Cake Studios. And I do put a mouth on this as well. I haven't done it yet because I was just gonna make like a crap ton of pickles and then do all the mouths at once. Um, but this works up very quickly. Um, I love the detail here of all the little like, these are actually triple crochets. These aren't bobbles, but I like the triple. I think it works nicely. Um, this is bendable, which is fun. So you can customize your pickle here. Uh, and you can actually put these triples like anywhere. You don't have to follow the pattern exactly. But um, when we took these to market last year, I was like, I don't know, are people gonna buy pickles? I only brought like nine and they sold out within like the first maybe two hours. And then people were actually coming up and asking if we had pickles because they saw other people walking around with them. I was like, I'm so sorry we sold out. So moving forward, I'm gonna be bringing a lot more to that market specifically, but I also think they would do well at any market, so. We'll see. I haven't put these up on Etsy yet because I wanted to like make as many as possible for that one market. Um, but I think after that, I would definitely put them on there. Woo, pickles. Okay, next we're gonna go into Birdland. So <laughs> we have, this was actually a um, bundle that I got. So this is by, this is a pay pattern on Etsy by Haru Crochets. Um, she's got chicks. She's got mallard ducks, and I haven't made the other one yet, but it is like a, actually, I don't know if it's a rooster or a chicken now, but it's like a white chicken with the red comb and the little, like, gullet? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, is that a chicken or a rooster? I feel dumb now, but I did make two of the three. Super cute. Have not brought these to market yet because I just started making them recently. I think they're going to be adorable, and I think they'll be very popular. I sold a few of these chicks on Etsy. Um... I think they're gonna be a winner and they work up very, very quickly. We have another member of the bird family here. Uh, I wish I had started making these a few months ago. I think I made these too late into the winter season, but um, next year I will definitely be making a ton more penguins. This pattern is on Etsy by Crochet by Jenna. I love watching her on YouTube, so I was very excited to try out one of her patterns. And this guy is so cute. The color changes are pretty easy to do. Um, and then you got the little bobble feet, the little wings, which are crocheted during the project. You don't have to add them on there. Um, so that's nice. And the color opportunities here, like the different possibilities are endless. I made a lot of like blue on blue or pink on pink, like different tones of the same color or different shades of the same color and they came out so cute. This is the only like natural color penguin that I made, um, but I think I would make more like that because they're super cute. But yeah, this one, definitely gonna be making more of these next fall and winter. We have a few more to go. Uh, next up is this hippo, which is super cute. This is a pay pattern on Etsy by Crochet I want to say it's crochet crochet. Um, I've heard so many people who use their patterns and they never know exactly how to say it. I don't either. I want to say it's crochet crochet, but who knows? Um, but they have a lot of great patterns. Um, this one is super fun. I love the shaping on the face here, the bobbles for the little uh, nostrils. You got the little ears. I just think it's so adorable. I've sold a few of these on Etsy so far. I will be bringing these to market for the first time in a few weeks. I think they're going to be popular. Um, this one, it takes a little bit longer than some of the other ones that I've shown you and, you know, a little bit more stuffing because it's got this big body, but, you know, just charge a little bit more for your work uh, and the materials, but I think it's very, very cute. Okay, um, back to Kind Maker on Etsy. <laughs> Here are a few more of their patterns. So I got this um, bundle from them that had like, I think four different dinosaurs. So I only have two here to show. I did make one of the other ones that I sold. I don't have it anymore. Um, and then I think there's a Triceratops, which I like started to make, but I got confused by the Pico stitch and then I abandoned it. But I will go back to it at, at some point. But I do have... Um, two of the the patterns from that bundle here we've got the t-rex which is so cute he's a little chubster and then we got this one which uh i think this is stegosaurus with the two 
um, what do you call these? Spike rows? Uh, yeah, I was a little bit intimidated at first, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the spikes, because I was like, is that gonna be annoying to do? But it's very quick, you just crochet them on the surface after you're done, and I think they add so much to the dinosaurs. So, these are cute. Very, very cute. I actually made these with embroidered eyes for my nieces and nephew to go with their Christmas presents, and, uh, I th hopefully they like them. <laughs> I think they like them. Okay. Uh, two more in this category. We have this jellyfish. Super, super cute. My mom has been making these. These are made, uh, she's been making them with blanket yarn, but you can use uh, chenille, you can use acrylic, whatever you want. I think this just worked out so perfectly the way that this color gradation happened. So amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Brunette. Um, but this pattern is a free YouTube tube, free YouTube tutorial by Little Crochet Farm. And I believe she said it works out very quickly. I have not made these myself, but she has made quite a few now. And it looks like these uh, tentacles just curl up so nicely on the bottom. So I think these are going to be a hit. And then last but not least in this category, we have um, what has become one of my all-time favorite patterns. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I just started making these like in the last, I don't know, maybe like two weeks, two and a half weeks. <sighs> these corgis. <laughs> oh my God, they're so cute. I know I was saying before, like a lot of people don't have dogs because it's hard to find good no-so dog patterns. This one is just ridiculously cute. Again, so many different color combo possibilities. Um, it's all no-so, which is awesome. You make the ears, you crochet them in as you get to this row. Um, the tail also you make separate and then crochet in, but it's just like the little details. Like look at the butt. You put in just like this butt t detail at the end, which just takes it to the next level and Oh my God, I'm obsessed with these. I've already made them in a bunch of different colors and I'm not gonna stop because <laughs> I just love them. So, so cute. And I guess I should say who that's by. This is a, a pay pattern by um, on Etsy by Svetla Art Shop. And they have so many cute patterns on their Etsy. I'm definitely gonna be trying out more. Uh, I think they have a few other dogs. I think they have a dachshund. I think they might have a pug, um, but yeah. I hope those are no-so as well. I, d I don't know. I know this one is for sure. I saw other people posting about it. I was like, a no-so dog? I'm there. So yeah, this one is a new favorite. Okay, this last category is pretty small and here's why. So these large plushies, I would say are probably like $20 and over. Um, we don't use a ton of no-so patterns for our large plushies. We have a few and then there are some of the like medium sized ones that we will size up by using the jumbo yarn and that makes them like over $20. Um, so like a lot of the ones that I mentioned earlier, like the turtles, the pigs, um, what else? Oh, I did make some jumbo pickles, which I'm gonna be bringing to Pickle Fest. Um, so we'll see how those do. But yeah, a lot of the bigger patterns are gonna end up being, you have to sew. <laughs> but I do have a few no sew ones here to show you. So first up is this other axolotl pattern. So you can make this small as well. I bought this one specifically to make with the jumbo yarn because I liked the shape of it. <coughs> so this axolotl is a pay pattern on Etsy by Toys Melina AU. And I think I will try to make the smaller version as well with just like the, the slim chenille because I think it'll be cute. And I like having the option of like two different types of axolotls, but um, yeah, this this worked up very quickly. I have the little leggies here, which is fun. You got the fin on the back, which is all surface crochet. Same with these guys in the front. So I just think it's really cute. And then um, another one I have here to show you is the Brontosaurus. Woo! <laughs> this was also, um, this was one of the first ones that I was making when I started making plushies and they were very popular at all of our markets last year. This is a pay pattern on Etsy by Not Too Shabby Crochet, which is a fantastic name. 
for a crochet business. Um, there are a bunch of brontosaurus patterns out there. I was like leaning between this one and another one when I was buying this pattern, but I ended up going with this because I just love the shape of this. I love the hump on the back. I love the tail. Like you make um, the hump and the head and then you attach the two as you're making the body and then you crochet the legs and the tail on after you have the body made. So it is a little bit of work. I feel like these probably take me, I don't know, I wanna say like two and a half hours at least just to make one, but I think they're worth it because they're really cute and people really like them. And I do make this as well with the jumbo yarn and they come out enormous. So that's really fun. Um, <laughs> But yeah, those are all of the plushies that we want to share with you today. Thank you so much if you made it through this whole video. Um, if you want to check out any of these patterns, I have, again, all the links down below. Um, I hope you give them a try. And let me know what some of your favorite no-sew plushies are to make because I'm always looking for new patterns. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and until next time, much love. Bye.